All right, then, so we have, we have another one here we're trying to solve for future value. All right, let's see. Let's say that we have a 190.87, and we're trying to see that in seven years, right, at an interest rate of 6%, what is our future value going to be, right? We just have a single sum here. We're putting in an account. We're trying to figure out our future value, uh, right? A simple way to do this, there's two ways to do this, one of which is just using any basic calculator, right, is that we take our future value equals present value multiplied by 1 plus r to the t, right, and we can just plug all this stuff in. We have the 190.87 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.06 to the seventh power, and we can solve for this, right, so we're going to have 1.06, and then we're going to use this exponent button, right, we're going to hit the y to the x, okay, to the seventh power, okay, and that tells us it's 1. Point all this stuff and just store it in the calculator. And we're going to multiply that by 190.87. Okay, so that's going to tell us that we're going to have here a future value, and all of this looks like it rounds over into $287. Okay, so that's one way we, we can do it, and we can we do the math that way. We can also, and that's actually pretty quick to do it that way, and it's good to he keep it in our mind that we know we can do it this way. However, we can use the, the financial calculator, right? We have all our functions here, n, i over y, present value, payment, and future value. Okay, our number, our n here is going to be 7, right? i over y is going to be 6. Our present value, right, is going to be 190.87. Our payment is going to be 0. And that means that our future value here is what we are solving for. Okay, so let's see if we come up with the same number, right? So we have uh, 7 is the n, so 7n, and 6 i over y, 190.87, negative, I'm not sure I write that negative down here, negative 190.87 is our present value, we have 0 is our payment, and then we hit the compute future value, and look at that, we come up with the same exact number of $287. Notice how even the rounding part over here is the same as it came up with on uh, doing it the longhand way. Um, it's just one, another way that is a little bit more effective that we can uh, get down and, and do these problems effectively.